Hello everybody, welcome back to G Views. I'm a 20 year old cisgendered white girl who loves talking about movies and film. So today's video, I'm going to be reviewing a non-Avatar related thing, although it does have an actor who was in the Avatar movie. It's a film called Lion, which I watched on Netflix yesterday. Um, it came out in 2018 and it's directed by Garth Davis. Sorry, I've got it on my phone because I can't remember stuff. And I really want to talk about it because um, it's starring Dev Patel, who was in The Last Airbender. And I love him. I knew him from Skins, um, playing Anwar. And I really, I think he's an amazing actor. And I really want to talk about this movie because it's so powerful and so riveting and beautiful. Like the score is stunning. And the film, so the film is about a boy in India um, who he like gets on a train, like he's with his brother and he gets on a train because um, he falls asleep on the train waiting for his brother and he's like separated from his family and he can't get home um, and he's really really small really young I think like five or something and then he gets adopted by two white Australians and so he lives in Australia and it's about like him trying to find his family when he's like 26 um, and trying to find his identity and I thought like the the themes are so important and so like relevant to people's experiences whether they're adopted or if they're you know dual nationalities it's like what kind of what is your identity how do you find yourself within like your your mum or your dad's side or if you're adopted and it's about trying to find your place in the world and where you can mold your experience to your background and where you are as a person now. So the little kid who plays a young Saru, who is the main protagonist, uh, he, the actor's name is Sunny Pawar, and he is Pawar. I don't know butcher his name. He is so cute. You just want to like squidge his little cheeks, and he just has the most beautiful big eyes, and he does such an amazing job playing kind of the emotions of trying to find his brother and trying to find his mum and because he's so young he doesn't he mispronounces words and so that means that he can't find where he lives because he's being pronouncing it wrong um and he's just so cute and like you just really want the brothers to unite like the brotherhood is just amazing and um it's really sad spoiler alert um at the end when he the older Saru finds his mother and his younger sister and he finds out that his brother his brother died and it was like his brother and then at the the end it's like the text comes up and it says that his brother died that same night hit by a train trying to find his brother and it's just really sad um but at the same time uplifting um so it's kind of this like dichotomy the cinematography is gorgeous these beautiful sweeping landscape shots of India um, and then like the kind of juxtaposition with Tasmania I don't know what I'm doing the waves the waves um, like of the beach in Tasmania it's just so gorgeous um, and it's just got a really beautiful style to it I must say it is a promo for Google Earth um, I think Google Earth sponsored, I think Google Earth paid heavy money, I, I know it's based in a real story, but like Google Earth is heavily in this film, so if you don't like product placement, then maybe you won't like <laughs> this movie. But I gotta say that when I started watching it, the first thing I saw was the, the Weinstein Company, and I was like, <laughs> and I gotta say that the child actors are just incredible. I find it so, like in so many different films, the child actors are just so annoying and you're just like, shut up! But the child actors are really, really good. Um, and then like, you go to Nicole Kidman and her husband, who are this or Tasmanian Australian couple who adopt little Saru. And the first thing I see is Queen Elizabeth. The first has been reborn. The wig, the wig, the wig. 
I mean, I saw um, the real life photo of the woman and the hair is very realistic. I was just like, that must be weird. If I had to say like one negative about the film, I would say that I wish it looked into the relationship between Saru and his adopted brother because they get an adopt they get another boy from India, um, Nicole Kidman and her husband, and he has like um, ticking he's got ticks or whatever where he bangs his head or wants to injure himself. Um, and he's kind of like the black sheep, the outcast, because of the strain he puts on his family. And it's kind of like, I wanted to see more between that brotherhood because we saw so much of like the biological brothers and we saw how much they um, loved each other. And I wanted to see more of that. But also Dev Patel is really good looking in this movie. So um, yeah. So if I had to give this movie a rating, honestly, I'd give it like 8.5 out of 10. I just loved the brotherhood between Saru and his brother and at the very end even though Saru's brother had died there's a shot of Saru, older Saru looking at himself younger and his brother walking along the railway tracks and it was just like so beautiful and I was like floods of tears and I just think it's such an important movie and it really explores identity and uh, where you come from and where you are now and how you can connect the two together um i really love the movie i highly recommend and it's on netflix so you can go give it a watch so anyway guys i hope you like this g view of lion um if you have any other videos or well films or tv shows you want me to review make sure to put them in the comment little box um i will also link my past video reviewing the last airbender in my description box below um and my twitter and my instagram is linked on my youtube header so you can always give that a little click i hope you guys are staying safe and i will see you guys soon